Hello guys, welcome once again to Geospatial Tutorial. Uh, there are basically two ways to kind of extract a smaller portion of an image. One in Erdas, one in ArcGIS. ArcGIS has an option called Extract by Mask, which is discussed in another video. Erdas has an option called Subsetting using AOI tools, which is also discussed in another video. In this particular tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to convert a shape file into AOI file in Erdas. Say for example you have a shape file and you want to extract that much portion from a larger image in Erdas. Erdas does not take shape file as an area of interest file so you need to convert that shape file into AOI file. For that you need to open a viewer and open the file which you want to convert into AOI layer. So your file will definitely be in vector format. Navigate to the folder where your shape file is present. By default, this option will be arc coverage. Change it to shape file. By default, it will be arc coverage. Change it to shape file and go to the folder where your file is present open it this is the shape file of Karnataka state in India say for example I want to extract this much portion from the image of India in Erdas Erdas to be able to do the same process in Erdas I need to convert this shape file into AOI format first go to the option vector menu vector and there is an option called attributes click on that and you have you will have all the uh, polygons listed here but however in this particular example we have only one we will be selecting that just click on that it will get selected say for example you have 10 files and you want to create AOI of uh, 9 files so select only those 9 files for which you want to create AOI then go to the option called AOI and click on copy selection to AOI so now your AOI layer is created but however it is not saved as an AOI for which you need to go to file click on save option save AOI layer as it will give you the place where you can save your AOI file I'll keep it as a test and click OK extension AOI will be taken by default click OK. Now your AOI layer is created and is saved in that format. But how do we check whether it is created or not? Just close everything, open a fresh viewer and open a larger image which contains this portion also. In this example I will be taking a image of South India which will contain the state of Karnataka and will display the AOI layer on that to ensure that the AOI layer is created. Click OK and uh, this is the image what I was talking about and I will open now the AOI layer. AOI layer is the test that we have created and I will click OK. Now you have your AOI layer sitting exactly on the place where it should belong. However, I will not be teaching you how to extract it because extracting using subset option has already been uh, covered in another video. This is the way you convert shapefile into AOI. Thanks for watching. 